Welcome everybody to Crypto Zeta. My name is Savage. Today we're going to be having a look at Phantom. This is going to be a lower time frame analysis video. We do have a higher time frame analysis video up above. So check that out if that's more what you're interested in. Let's get into the charts and see what's going on. Okay, so before we get into this little bit of analysis down here, I just want to go over one of the two th options that I'm still looking at here on the bigger time frame here. So the higher time frame video does have a lot more of this in depth, but effectively as an overview, we're looking for that possibility of this still being an A, B and a C to the upside. We could see one to one B here at this $1.10. This would align with coming back into the top end of this channel and looking to take out some of these target boxes that we have here. Another area of interest would be the 65.22 where we'd be looking for this to continue Continue to hold these lows and effectively form a five wave move now this five wave move we need to keep an eye on this a wave higher because this um, 0.618 which would be a minimum requirement for this c wave is aligning quite nicely with this level so we'll be just keeping an eye on this if we do see price push into this zone as a possible rejection area now the other way that we could look at this that if this move is not completed to the downside here and rather what we have is this is an x wave over here we could see price still look to continue to the downside where what we could say is that what we are forming here is a bigger a b and a c pattern looking to actually come here and invalidate that idea of this move continuing to the upside in that c wave now if we are looking at this what we would say is that here we have this as w x y and we're looking for a three wave move up in the b wave now common rejection area is this 51.55 to this 32.75 now we have come up into this zone already so i'm just being cautious that this move here even though it would be really small we could still argue we have something like this um it would be more likely though in my opinion we see something more substantial if this is going to be a b wave but there is always the potential we could just have a short b wave here and then we could see the c wave start to develop to the downside now one to one would be here at this 1061 given our current level that we are sitting at and um, effectively, if we do break down here, I will be looking at this one to one as a potential target because it would come and align quite nicely with coming back into this lower channel. However, what we would also need to be aware of is that if we do see five waves here develop to the downside, what this could mean is that this B wave could be here and we could be starting to form this um, move to the downside as the C wave where this becomes a series of ones and twos over here. And actually, we look to just break down directly. Now, this. 0.618 is going to be a minimum requirement here and this is sitting at the 1630 this would also align quite nicely with coming back and retesting this bottom channel line so we're going to be keeping an eye on that as time goes on if this move fails to develop to the upside here we could still see this come down one more time here okay so let's get into the smaller time frame analysis here now we are on the hourly and what i'm looking for is two ways at, at looking at the structure currently so we could argue that we have an impulse in the beginning of this move in which case we would be expecting continuation to the upside what we could see is that this is one two three four five as a diagonal pattern now if this is the case what we'd then be looking for is the possibility that this is a b and c here now our one to one target is a little bit lower here towards this 25 cent region and this would align with actually coming back a bit deeper here into this 25.23 to this 24.87 as this golden pocket. So if we do see price come down here one more time, what we want to see within this option is that if this is going to look to extend out, we want to hold this 23.43 this is going to be our key level here. If we start to lose this zone, it becomes more likely we're going to hit this invalidation point at this 2133. Now, if we are looking at this move, effectively what we could be having here is this move could be wave one, two, and we're looking for this third wave. Third wave would potentially push us up into this 5139 as a third wave here. And then we get a fourth wave into this target box and then the possibility of continuation up in a fifth wave so this would be looking to break to the upside from our current level so this is valid for as long as we hold this level here but i wouldn't want to see this move starting to get too much bigger than it already is because otherwise it starts to become very disproportionate to this move to the upside that we have so if we are looking at this effectively what we want to see is after this completes we want to see this form this is a wave one or an a wave three waves to the downside and then see that continuation if we did move up into our target box here then this green target box here between this 26 29 and this 34 76 would be looking for that potential of that continuation if we started to lose this we need to be careful that this isn't somehow a c wave over here if we get a five wave move up and then uh, we'd be looking for possibility to break down if we fail to hold this this uh, 26 29 once you start to lose this level breaking down becomes much more likely. So 
this is looking at this idea of this as an impulse. It is also possible, however, to count this correctively, where we could just argue this is WXY for an A wave. And what we're looking for is a B wave to the downside. Now, once again, the support zone is the same here. We've already come down into this 50%. We could potentially look to push down a little bit lower here towards this golden pocket area. So if we do see this play out, the idea would be the same here, except we wouldn't be looking for that higher 1618 target. What we could get is this is just ABC, and then we actually look to push up to this 1 to 1, which would be this 3922. Now, this is an interesting area because we do have these highs that are sitting in this zone, as well as that we do have this target box over here, which if I just turn on the contents has a daily naked point of control still sitting in this area. So wouldn't be surprising to see this move actually come up and look to sweep some of these zones if it's going to look to move up here one more time as a corrective structure and then look to possibly either break down or possibly find three waves down and just become a bigger corrective structure. So if we do get three waves up, it doesn't mean that we have to break down to new lows here. What this could mean is that this just actually forms a three wave move down and then we just form a bigger corrective structure, which would fit into that idea of that B wave. So this is why I'm just keeping an eye on this in the shorter term here. We could still potentially see price look to push to the upside here if we are going to see either this develop as a corrective move up or an impulse to the upside. These both stay alive as long as we are above this 21.33. Now what we need to be careful of here is there is another way of counting this structure to the downside. And what we could say is that within this move here, if I come back onto the four hourly, what we could say is that this is an A wave, this is a B wave. And what we have here is that we still have a five wave move that needs another drop to it so we are sitting within this fourth wave rejection area so as long as we stay below this 3364 potentially we could be looking for this fifth wave to the downside now in time relationship i wouldn't want to see this correction push up again here if this is going to be a fourth wave what i'd want to see is this continue to break down directly here looking for this target here of this 1930 to the 1634 now we do have some targets which we've already hit here as a c wave we have come down to this one two three six of the a wave already and if we do look to push down deeper here what i would be looking out for is the potential to come back down here possibly into this 1382 which would be here at this 1908 so if we do see this develop where this is actually something like this one two one two then we're forming a third fourth and a fifth and then a fourth and a fifth something like this we could look for these lower targets here where we could see price come back down into this 1930 to the 1634 so the key thing is here Within this count, we would not want to come back up above this 3309. So if we are looking for this direct breakdown here, we need to see price start to fall off in a more aggressive way here, where we look at this fifth wave actually playing out. Now, what this would look like is something like this. And what we could see is that potentially this wave two could form here, where we get this as a one, we get another three wave move up here, and we get a three, four, and a five, something to this effect all of the time the invalidations would be this high. So this 3184 would be the invalidation for all of these um, impulses to the downside effectively. Now, if we are looking at something like this, what we could actually have is that this move here in itself could be another one, two, and possibly we don't get a big move up for this wave two. What we could get is this is one, two, this is one, two, and then we see three, four, five, four, five, and that pushes us directly down. So we're going to have to keep an eye on this one, six, one, eight level here, which would be this 22, 27. If we just see price start to break down directly to this level, what we could actually have is that this could be one, two, three, and then we'd be looking for fourth and a fifth wave from that point. The problem that I have is that if we do move down to this one, six, one, eight here, there isn't a lot of space for this wave four to develop, which typically looks to target out this level of this 2552. So if we do see see a move down here possibly what we could get is price could extend out deeper here pushing past this 1618 level and possibly moving towards this 2.618 level so we're gonna have to keep an eye on this lower zone if we see price start to fall off in a much more aggressive way the 17 the 1786 could be a possible target if this is actually going to be one two and then a direct break to the downside for this wave three so we're going to have to keep an eye on this like i said yeah you know there is potential that this move could actually complete into this low we get three waves up fail to break this high 
and then see the blue wave count play out or alternatively this yellow wave count could look to break down directly into this uh, lower area so if we do see something along these lines where we have these uh, a series of ones and twos this would mean we'd be pushing down lower than our current target box um, because what effectively what we are looking at here is that our wave three for this would be potentially down here towards this 20 cent 17 so if we do see this we're gonna have to count the um, sub waves here but it could potentially mean that we're looking to break down deeper towards this uh, 1618 here at this 1593 or possibly even deeper into this channel which would be down here towards this 1347 so really we want to invalidate this uh, if we're looking for that bullish potential we want to get see price move back to the upside and take these highs so we can look for that possibility of that continuation to the upside okay so coming in here and looking at the daily cpr what we can see is that we are currently below these levels if we do see price move back to the upside we could potentially find resistance at this level of this 2635 and this area here of this uh, 2614 alternatively if we do manage to break above these what we could see as possible targets would be this 2713 we have this 2786 we have this 2877 and this level here of this 2940 as possible targets to the upside for today so if we do see price move up into these above these lines possibly we could see that idea of having a rally if however we fail to reclaim this zone what we could see is price could be gravitated either back towards this 2554 we have downside targets for today also open at this 2469 2398 and this 2308 as possible downside targets for today so this would align with the idea of actually seeing a bit more continuation to the downside here now if we go over here and have a look at the weekly pivots what we can see is that we are currently below these central lines once again these are going to be potential resistance if we move back to the upside here 2691 2884 and the central line here at this 2790 so if we do see price move back up into this zone we need to be careful of that idea where we could see that continuation to the downside where we see a b wave up here and then we see continuation from this point however if we do look to push to the upside during the remainder of this week we do have this 2994 we have this 3390 and this level here of this 3599 as potential targets but the first thing we need to see is a reclaim of these central lines if we do look to move to the downside here what we could see is price could get gravitated towards this 2390 we have this 2181 and this level here of this 1782 as possible downside targets for this week now flipping this over onto the monthly what we can see here is that we're currently below these central lines so once again i'm going to be looking out for that possibility that we could find resistance at 2733 2835 and this higher level here of this 2941 if we do see price move back to the upside here so this would align with that idea where we could be looking for that possibility of that extension to the downside if we do see price look to fall off here we do have downside targets at this 2340 we have this lower level here of this 1637 and this 1137 as possible downside targets for this month now as well as that if we do once again as same as that bullish count within the weekly idea if we do manage to reclaim these possibly what we could see is a move up towards the zone of this 3542 this 40 cent 50 and this 47 44 as possible upside targets for this month so we're going to be keeping an eye on this these are we don't always have to reach all of these targets but these are just potential pivot points within the market if we do move into those levels okay so i'm going to leave the video there i hope you found it useful if you did please smash the like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video leave us some feedback down below and also in the description you'll find a link to the discord come check it out it's free to join everyone have a great day we'll see you in the next one take care